Hi guys, Canadian Hunter here. So I've got an unboxing today of a new red dot that I picked up, which is the Vortex Venom red dot. And uh, this is for a new project of mine. I shouldn't say project, I guess. It's for a new firearm. And uh, it's for a handgun that is uh, more of a sort of a competition style gun that uh, I've ordered and it is on its way. So um, the gun that I ordered is, uh, I thought, well, it is actually, it's really hard to kind of get in Canada. And uh, from what I can tell, it's just been released in Canada. Uh, my American friends have been able to get this gun for, I would say, the last mm, year probably for sure. But uh, all I'm going to say is it's a competition style firearm, uh, handgun, that uh, comes with mounts for a red dot. So pretty excited about that. And uh, that brought me to uh, needing a red dot for it. And, uh, you know, I went through all my choices. And, you know, you got your kind of $300 options like this Venom. Uh, competing against this would have been the Vortex Viper, which I think is a little bit of an older design than this Venom. Uh, more in your five or six hundred dollar price points, so you got your Vortex Razor, and you got your sort of loophole products, and then you got your sort of Trigicons up in that you know upper you know eight nine thousand dollar price point. Well, I was more in that three hundred dollar price point, so I ended up with the Vortex Venom. This comes in two MOA uh, sizes. You got your three MOA and you got your six MOA. Um, some of the sort of features on the box are going to brag about. Um, is that, you know, just some basic stats, you know, one MOA click values, be aware of that. So every click is one MOA. Um, that's how much adjustment it has, sort of what comes in the box. But we're going to go through that in a second. And this is some of the Vortex propaganda, um, you know, fully multi-coded, anti-reflective, blah, blah, blah. Armor tech, sure, whatever. Shockproof, you know, whatever. Um, better be um, waterproof. Okay, that's nice, but again, you know, better be. Um, 10 illumination levels, which is nice, I guess. 14 hour battery life doesn't seem that great, but it does have an auto shutdown uh, in case you leave it on, so it doesn't just chew through the battery. Uh, auto or manual brightness, which I think is a really cool feature. I didn't look to see even if the Viper had that feature or not, but I knew this one had it. And I really was excited to go for this Venom, just knowing that it's a newer product uh, from Vortex and uh, just hoping that it's maybe just a little bit nicer featured than maybe some of the older products that are out there. Um, what's in the box? So you get you know, your typical manual. It is pretty detailed, goes through all the basic features. There isn't that much that you can really adjust. I mean, it just goes through how to turn it on, how to turn it off how to adjust the brightness, how to enable that auto mode, how to install the battery, dust cover, whatever, um, you know, mounting it, things like that. Cleaning cloth does have, you know, the silk screening on it. If it was me, I would use the back side. That feels a bit abrasive. Uh, cool that it has it though. You know, whatever, it's nice. Um, simple Allen key. You know, they're giving you everything to, to mount this thing properly and to adjust it properly. They give you, this thing feels pretty decent actually. They give you a bit of their like little screwdriver. Um, the thick side here is to open and close uh, your battery cover. I've already put the battery in, works really, really well. Uh, fit like perfect, obviously it's made for it. And then you got your sort of finer end, that's for doing your elevation wind adjustments. It's nice that it has that. They give you a pick a tinny style mount because of course they don't know what you're putting it on. Um, I will leave that in the box because again I'm mounting this on a handgun that's already going to come with my mounts. They do give you some screws here. They give you three screws. Um, you'll never need two but they give you you know an extra one. Again they're th I feel like they're thinking of everything. Um, they give you a simple little this dust cover and it is, let's zoom in here a little bit, it is Vortex branded there, Venom branded there. I did notice there was a little bit of sort of glue or something from the packaging that was on this, but nothing got on the red dot. In fact, the red dot is comes completely sealed in plastic. Um, and this is the red dot itself. So I'm hoping to get good focus here. So this is the red dot. So Vortex Venom, 3M away. Again, your simple windage and elevation adjustments. Looks very, very good quality. I like it, you know, the all metal construction, feels very, very durable. Um, this little light sensor, that's actually, okay, so that's for the auto uh, mode. Um, and again, how that's gonna work, hit the button once, 
and it should turn it on again camera so we're gonna see how this is gonna work here on camera so let's see power button it is on I just can't get it lined up anyway hold the power, hold the uh, down button that's gonna turn the red dot off hold it up that's going to uh, turn it on let this focus there we go hold it up turns it on once it's on hold it until it blinks three times then you're in auto mode so then the brightness of the red dot will uh, will adjust accordingly to the light level hit and hold it again up uh, it'll blink two times and then you're in manual mode so you'll have your 10 clicks of brightness up you'll have you know be able to click it down hold the down button for a few seconds turns the red dot off it does have auto off but you know if you saw the 14 hour battery life that's not the greatest so you probably going not want to be turning it off but um, that's it so real real simple red dot I think this is gonna be absolutely perfect for what it's going on and um, that's it really so if you're looking for a red dot around $300 give or take uh, depending on what country you live in I think this is a really good option uh, vortex venom if you like this video guys hit that like button and as always please click subscribe uh, remember I'm going to be mounting this on that unnamed firearm uh, next week hopefully when it comes in I hope it comes in I think it's shipping uh, tomorrow so it's coming from uh, down east has to come all the way to the west coast of Canada so it's going to take probably about five days but five business days but then I will have this mounted up on that firearm and I'll be doing an unboxing video of that as well that's it guys. Talk to you soon. Bye bye.